Good morning. Welcome to Pen B Photography. I will stand this way and cover the wind a little bit. It's a little bit windy. That's why I've got my microphone here and I've got a very short cable, so that's why my face is so close to you. Um, so, thinking about might try and do a little bit of wildlife photography today. I don't know if we've picked the wrong day to do it because uh, my phone says it's a 100% chance of rain at the moment. It's not raining right now. It's a bit chilly. Um, I want to get deer and I've got a horrible feeling because it's going to be wet and cold they're just going to be in the dark woods but so this could be an awful video if it goes out at all um, but hopefully we'll be okay we'll get something um, I haven't bought my main tripod I've just got a tiny little tripod which you're on and um, I'm going to try and do a little bit of wildlife photography. Hopefully it'll work out really well. I'm being distracted. I can see a buzzard, sorry. Um, it is chilly and it's going to rain. So I'm going to get down and go into the woods under a bit of cover. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, you're going to have to forgive this uh, camera on top of my head. I don't know why I'm bothering. It is a £38 camera. It's not a GoPro or anything. It's just off Amazon. Um, and it's terrible. <laughs> it's not very good at all. So I don't know why I'm walking around with it on the top of my head. But you never know, it might capture something. We'll have to see. Um, so fallow deer is what I'm going for today. Or if there's any row, I will... I will obviously photograph that, won't be turning any wildlife down. Um, I've been here a few times before and I know that the fallow deer gather up in the valley down there. Uh, so we'll see, but it's, you know, it's 50-50. They like to sunbathe down there and there's not much sun out at the moment. So it might just be uh, just chilling out in the, in the dark woods, which would be hard to photograph. Um, but my intention is, I don't want my silhouette to show out as I walk along the ridge. I intend to go along the ridge of the top of the hill to the valley, to a woods just over there, and then shoot out from the dark woods to see if there's any deer there. Any, And it really is pure luck if they're there or not. Um, but I don't want to spook them before I even get there by them seeing me walk along the ridge. So just keep back a little bit. I don't fancy my chances though. So I don't know quite how this video is gonna turn out. If you see it at all, there may not be a video. Uh, may not be any photos, sorry. Um, but I suppose if you could get from what not to do, <laughs> maybe we'll see. But anyway, so I'll see you again in a minute. Uh, hopefully with something exciting in front of me, we'll see.
come across... <clears throat> Whoa! A whole skull and jaw and backbone. Slightly concerning. There's a bit of horse hair around. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, I've never really seen in the forest this because all the horses are um, owned by commoners so uh, when one goes missing or, or one's ill or whatever the forestry commission or whoever one, the commoners own them come out and deal with injured horses either or whatever's necessary either give them treatment or, or bring them in for whatever's necessary to be done um, so it's unusual to find um, sort of leftovers of a of a dead horse in the forest but yeah yeah it's spread all over the place so it, uh, there's no predators here that would kill a horse or a pony I should say they're all ponies here they're not horses they're ponies but um, I suppose if one dies then uh, things like foxes badgers and stuff like that will will eat the carcass if no one if no one discovers it but yeah that's that's quite unusual to find proper like skeleton hmm there we go not pleasant but there we go <laughs> Well, <laughs> I don't fancy my chances of seeing um, deer now. I've seen one doe, but she saw me way before I saw her. So, yeah, I think that I'm not going to get any photos today. Um, sorry. <laughs> but that does happen sometimes, especially if you're a wildlife photographer. Um, They'll be out there, especially on YouTube, so many better wildlife photographers than me. But I think the message is, is uh, even if you're as bad as me, uh, I have got plenty of deer shots and I'll muster up a couple from times past that I've taken. But um, the best thing you can do is get out and you will get something at some point. And when you don't get something, still enjoy it. It'll be... You know, it's still been fun. We could have gone to the deer sanctuary at Boulderwood, which uh, may have been more of a guaranteed deer shot. But what is the fun in that when you know that they've been fed in that field? But then you, you I have seen some very good photos down there. So um, I don't know. But I think part of the fun is looking for them. Um, I've still got a little way to walk. Um, so if I do catch any, I obviously will, you know, show you that. But, um, yeah, sorry, I don't think we're going to get any photos today. Right, but anyway, seems weird, but I'm going to give you some top tips looking for deer. I've got one especially. Now, when you're walking through the woods and you're using the woods and bushes and stuff as cover to break up your your silhouette your shape because that's how they recognize you movement is very important that's also how they recognize you um, the other thing is is they probably know that you're there before before you get there so the idea is is to try and move in a way that not to startle them once you know that they're there don't suddenly stop like that because they're suspicious of that if they have spotted you and you've got a compact camera and you're close enough just keep on walking and they probably won't run away and you could probably take a photo as you're walking if you're a bit more complicated and you're using all the gear with no idea or all the gear obviously you've got an idea um then you're gonna have to think about it a little bit more but uh, yeah just get out there do some more do as much as possible also when you're looking through the woods look deep into the woods so focus your eye on the furthest point you can see through the trees as far through the trees as possible and then um, 
what will happen is this, if there's a deer in the foreground closer, you, your eyes will just automatically lock on that. But if you focus on the trees and the ground towards you, you won't see the deer or whatever you're trying to photograph beyond the point of what you're focusing. So yeah, just try and pierce your sight through the trees and ferns and, and just you know lock your mind into trying to spot these things even if you're not doing photography that is a great way to spot wildlife is just to look as deep through woods and bushes and grass and goodness knows what as much as possible and you'll see a lot more wildlife that way so um, I'll probably speak to you in a minute just to say goodbye um, but yeah and I'll speak to you if uh, if we do catch any deer but I think this that this is gonna be a video I'll put a couple of old old shots on but they will be ones that I took in the past all right then well I'll speak to you in a minute take care bye bye Okay, so I've got one. It was very quick though, so um, I didn't manage to get any video of me capturing a picture, but I promise you I did get it. It's not. So we got some pictures of deer and you've got a picture in this video, so that's nice. Um, I will show it to you. It's not brilliant, but it's a photo of a deer. So there we go. Of two deer. Two does. One mum and one teenager. So anyway, well pleased with that. I'll show that to you. I'll put the uh, information up on the side. If you've stuck to the end of this video, brilliant and thank you so much. Consider subscribing. You're obviously dedicated. Um, if you have liked this video, please like it. Please feel free to make a comment. Feel free to give me suggestions on how to pr improve my field skills and then I can move it on to show other people that watch these videos uh, and I will see you next time thank you take care bye bye <laughs>